Hi, welcome to This Week in Ames. I'm Susan Guiazda. On today's show, we'll check in with the Ames Police Department. My guest today is recently promoted police commander Jason Tuttle. Jason, welcome to the show. Thank you. So the promotion was uh, in the last few weeks, but you've had a long history with the City of Ames Police Department. Tell me a little bit about your background. Sure. Well, um, I actually started in law enforcement in Southern Iowa as a deputy sheriff in Lucas County. I worked there for a couple of years, and I came up to, uh, to Ames in 2000. I worked as a patrol officer for uh, about five years. Um, I then was uh, selected to be one of our uh, investigators. I worked in investigations for um, a couple of years, and then I was promoted to a sergeant, and I went back to the patrol division. And uh, um, I worked as a police sergeant on several different shifts for two years, and then I was promoted to lieutenant. And so I, I was a lieutenant for the last four years, and then, as you said, I was recently promoted to uh, the commander position. Now, as a patrol officer, you sort of get a taste of everything. Do. Um, we, uh, you know, our calls range from going on a uh, barking dog call to potentially going to some type of a violent crime, uh, parking tickets, whatever it may be. So we do get a wide range of activities. And it sounds like you've had a lot of experience then at different levels in the Ames Police Department. I have worked at different, uh, 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 different functions through, uh, with the Police Department. I've been on our SWAT team, our bike patrol team. Uh, again, like I said before, I've been in detectives. And so um, it's uh, had a lot of great experiences throughout that time. So in the last decade or so, Ames has seen a lot of changes, a lot of growth, um, and there's been some waves of crime. Sort of when you look back over your years in the police department, what are your thoughts? Well, I think, number one, I know that we live in a great community, and um, I have my, my, my kids go to school here, so I certainly uh, love the community and love to be a part of it. Um, we did have a, 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 a wave of crime and, um, through about four years ago, um, but uh, since then, it's, things have leveled off, and we've uh, taken some proactive measures to address some of the issues that we had then, but um, overall, Ames is a great town. Um, we love the college vibe here. Um, and it's a, again, it's a great, City of Ames is a great organization to work for as well. Now I know actually, I think in Ames we sort of have the opposite problem where people feel so safe, they do things like leave their vehicles unlocked or don't lock their homes. What's some advice for our residents? Sure. Well, there are a lot of things people can do to be proactive. Um, certainly car burglaries, we, we get those on a weekly basis, so a lot of times people leave change um, or electronic devices is what we see a lot now in their vehicle, they'll leave the vehicle unlocked. So a lot of times if they can just be proactive by locking their vehicle or putting their vehicle in the garage or maybe locking their door at their house, some of those proactive measures can prevent that crime from happening. We, if we take away the opportunity from the, um, from the bad guys, we can a lot of times, again, prevent uh, any other crime from happening. So kind of a, a relatively new development in the police department is the Safe Neighborhoods team that um, has the focus of sort of going out and being more proactive with crime prevention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, Safe Neighborhoods has been a great addition to our department. You know, the, the, we had a party response team prior to that that did some of the similar functions of Safe, Safe Neighborhoods team, but now they're more, um, they have a more uh, broad duties than the, the party response team did. So I think a, good, a great example is um, several months leading up to Visha, they went door to door in the university impacted area and talked with a lot of the students and residents that lived out in, in that area about ha um, having um, responsible parties, um, about appropriate behavior at parties, and so um, that those proactive measures really helped us have a successful Visha this year. Well, speaking of Visha, it has been fairly, <laughs> fairly recent in our history. How did Visha 2013 go? Well, for the most part, I think it went well. We had a, uh, some instances where cars were flipped over. Unfortunately, it seems like on a yearly basis we have that happen. Um, we're, we're following up on some leads on that, though. What we're hopeful to, to try to find the suspects that did that. But overall, we had a, um, we had um, good feedback from the students on on, on our uh, measures out on Welch Avenue and, and how we handled crowds. So um, I think things went well, and there's always room for improvement. So we're already looking forward to next year and what we can do better and how we can uh, relate to the students. So um, I'm in the process right now taking feedback from our officers, some other staff about um, how we can do a better job next year. And obviously the Ames Police Department collaborates with the Department of Public Safety and ISU Campus, ISU Administration, landlords. There's a lot of people that you tap into. 
There are, and again, I think we have to have a, uh, a teaming effort to make Visha successful, and so we're committed to continually reaching out to um, different stakeholders in the community to make sure that we have a, a safe environment for um, for our, um, college students to um, to, to have a, a great weekend um, and so um, again you know we also collaborate with the, the fire department during that weekend we basically take over their fire station and use that as a, a, a command post booking area but we do work close with other agencies and the university to, to try to make it a successful event. Well and of course campus town uh, businesses have a have a stake in, in this as well so I'm sure they're active. They do we're, we're, uh, we're very active with the campus town action alliance association um, we've worked with them and so uh, we're committed to, uh, again, making uh, Campus Town a safe area, and we want to look to do that in the future. Um, speaking of some improvements, we are standing right next to the um, Police Department hallway at City Hall. What's going on here? Well, I guess you can, as you can hear in the background, we have some construction going on. Um, we're re renovating uh, probably 70% of our department right now. Um, that renovation includes uh, our records area, our dispatch area, um, our emergency operations center and also our jail area so um, currently we have some offices here on the very east side of the building and offices on the very uh, west side of the building and in between is where they're doing the renovations so we're hopeful whenever that renovation's done we're going to have a safer jail area we're going to have a more uh, functional emergency operations center and a more functional dispatch area and some better workspace for our officers and our records staff. So just to get your bearings, um, this is the side that faces 6th Street. Correct. And you pretty much take up the entire hallway between um, Clark and the end of the building and really almost gutting the insides and improving them. We, we are. Um, they've been, <laughs> the last two weeks, they've been jackhammering pretty much all day to take down a lot of the internal walls that are inside City Hall. And so unfortunately that has caused some uh, um, some disturbances with people who are working in City Hall and we're very thankful for their mm -hmm. patience. Um, but when we're done, I think we're gonna have a great product for um, for us and for the public. I, you know, to go along with that, I think it's gonna make a better environment for the public to be able to come into and to know where to get paperwork that they may need um, or um, just to talk to a police officer. Now people may be used to accessing the police department from the 6th Street um, door. Is that still an option? Um, you can. We have a very small lobby area now off of 6th Street where the two, the two police bulbs are at. Um, you can come to that area and there's a phone out there that you can pick up and that rings directly to our dispatch center and they can have an officer come to you. Um, there's also another area further down by the auditorium doors where you can come in and you can speak to our record staff on that side of the building. So right now we're divided into two halves and to access the east or the west half you have to generally go outside and through another set of doors to access the other side of the building. And if you come in through the main do doors of City Hall off Clark you still can get access. You can yeah and uh, and we're more than happy to if you come in through these doors here you can go down to our police administration area and um, if you need something you can there's a phone outside of that area or you can come in and speak to one, um, our clerk who's uh, at her desk and we can get you to the right place if you're, you're not sure where to go. So lots of changes. <laughs> a lot of changes uh, uh, between having Visha last week, the renovation now, we've been we've been very busy. Um, we're, we're looking forward to hopefully a slower summer, but uh, we're ready for whatever happens. Well, thank you, for Jason, for giving us the update. It's always good to talk to you. Thank you. It's not too late to be thinking about those Furman Aquatic Center swim passes. Remember, those are discounted until May 15th, so get your Furman Aquatic Center pass by calling the community center. So if you're a bike rider and you bike in Campus Town, we'd like to hear your thoughts. The Public Works Department is collecting information on those who bike in Campus Town, what they like and don't like, and maybe what amenities you'd like to see in the area. So go online and fill out the bike survey. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks for watching, and tune in next week for This Week in Ames.